All right, folks, welcome to microbiology. We're going to do a hand washing exercise and we're going to compare four different treatments. So the first treatment will be just using um, water. The second treatment will be using soap and water. The third treatment will be using hand sanitizer only. And then the fourth treatment will be using soap and water followed by hand sanitizer, which is the way it's supposed to happen. If you'll take a look at the plates, I've got them marked already so that uh, we have them listed just like this. You can see that there is a little A and a big A. That stands for before treatment A. Treatment A is just using uh, water. And then here is a little P with a dash over it and an A that's after treatment, right? So after the treatment, then we'll, we'll do that. So this is Dr. John. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open up this plate this is nutrient agar, it's a recovery medium. It will pick up any organisms that are on our body. And so if we, if we just touch these plates, whatever will be, what is ever is, what it, whatever is on our body will be um, kind of put on this plate and it'll just grow, okay? So I'm gonna open it up and John's going to very gently put his fingers in there and his thumb. And then the other, right? And so now I have an impression of whatever was on his hands before. I am now going to turn the water on for him to try to minimize the variables. And so he's going to wash his hands with just water. Okay? We're going to target, just through the scope of this activity, we're going to target about 20 seconds. Okay? So John's been because I gave him direction before, he's been taking his own time, right? So. Being careful. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. All right. So now, if we were to take an impression of his hands right now, because there's water on them, the organisms would go crazy because one thing that all things need that are alive is water. So we're gonna let his hands dry for just a minute. We're gonna pause the video while we do that. So Dr. John's hands are now dry. This is after the treatment. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down and let him again do the same thing. And then the thumb. Okay. Yep. And so these will incubate at a permissive temperature. Permissive means 35 to 37, it's body temperature. And these will incubate for about 24 hours, and then we'll have results and we will share those results with you, okay? Okay, now this is the second treatment. Again, same setup with the plates, right? So I have a plate that we're going to uh, expose prior to treatment, and then a plate we're gonna expose after treatment. This treatment, B, is soap and water. So now this is Olivia. I'm gonna ask Olivia to come in and make an impression of her fingers and her thumb on this plate. Great. And then I'm going to turn on the water for her. Hold on, hold on. And I'm going to place just a little bit of soap in her palm of her hand. And now she's going to wash with soap and water.
a pause for. So now, after Olivia's hands have been washed and dried, now we're going to have her touch the plate after the treatment. The treatment again, remember this is treatment B, soap and water, so she's gonna come back here and touch the plates with her fingers and her thumb. And then again, we'll incubate this for approximately 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. And I'll be using both hands. No, just the, just the second hand. All right, here we go. So now this is Ricardo. And Ricardo is going to work with treatment C, which is just hand sanitizer. So again, I've got plates labeled one before the treatment, one after the treatment. And I'm gonna ask Ricardo to go ahead and expose his fingers and, and thumbs to the, um, to the plate prior to the treatment. And now I am, this is the best uh, hand sanitizer that there is on the market. So most of them that have just 70, 68 to 78 percent isopropyl alcohol. This one has got uh, benzoconium chloride in it, which is a quaternary ammonium, which is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the middle of his palm like that, and he'll just do the sanitizing method. So one thing to note is everybody who's in this video is a, a, a laboratory professional. And so <laughs> their technique is a lot better than we would normally see with students. Although we do appreciate that with uh, um, the, the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic that, uh, that everybody has gotten a little bit more diligent about, about making sure their hands are as, as clean as possible. Okay, so now they are dry and he's going to go ahead and touch make an impression right of his fingers and his thumb okay. and that these will be these will be incubated for 24 hours at a permissive temperature so okay so for the last treatment we're going to this treatment D. This uh, incorporates using soap and water, then followed by hand sanitizer. This is the way hand sanitizer was designed to be used by my company and a bunch of other companies that, that I worked for. And so again, we have our colleague Anthony, and Anthony is going to come over and he's going to make an impression of his hands prior to the treatment, and then um, he'll I'll turn the water on. I'll put some soap in his hands and he'll wash his hands and then after that once his hands are dry enough we'll, we'll go ahead and put the hand sanitizer in it and he'll go ahead and uh, wring his hands until the alcohol has uh, dissipated okay and then he'll make the last impression okay so here we go Anthony's gonna come over he's gonna make an impression put his hand Okay, that's good. And then the other hand. Okay. So now I'm going to turn on the water. Hold on, then, hold on. Then. And I'm going to place in his palm some soap. And he'll go ahead. and wash his hands for, we're targeting 20 seconds. Okay, we'll pause for a minute. Go. So now that Anthony's hands are dry, I'm going to take a little bit of the hand sanitizer that's got benzoconium chloride in it, 
and I'm going to put that in his palm, and he will go ahead and rub that in until it is completely dissipated. So as we're talking about um, washing hands, some people will call it a de-germing de method. I would prefer a mechanical method of removal, so it doesn't really kill any microorganisms, but what it does is it removes them, right? Now, alcohol, benzoconium chloride is a surfactant, it's a detergent. Alcohol is really good for viruses like, like COVID-19, um, but as you'll find out, alcohol is not a really good disinfectant or antiseptic for most other microorganisms, just for envelope viruses. And we'll talk about that when we have at some time in lecture. So now that his hands are completely dry, he'll make that last impression with, with all fingers and thumb. And so now these, this plate will be, inoc or be incubated with the rest of the plates for about 24 hours, and we'll show you the results at a later date. 